what what is your uh, current position uh so i just moved to uh, university of massachusetts at amherst as an associate professor of economics uh and prior to that i was teaching at the university of hyderabad uh yeah what what did your research in your during your icii fellowship uh, entail and what resources did icii provide you during this time so uh i was in the second cohort of fellows at the india china institute and uh, the theme of that uh, for our cohort was prosperity and inequality in china and india and uh, so you know it was done uh, the research was done uh, in groups you know which consisted of chinese and indian fellows and our group focused on uh, inequality related issues uh, <clears throat> both uh, income inequality consumption inequality in india and china and we did a comparative exercise and we also looked at wealth inequality in india and china so we wrote a couple of papers so that was broadly what uh, we did for the fellowship and what uh, icii provided was very valuable uh, it was uh, you know not only the <clears throat> fellowship money that we got but we got opportunities to travel to china and then come back and you know uh, interact with our cohort at the new school we also met a couple of times in india uh and they also put me in touch with a lot of people in china because that's uh, you know one place where i didn't know too many people uh i think you know both uh, in terms of resources you know money uh, the people that uh, i could interact with and you know uh, providing avenues for collaborative research and you know uh, intellectual stimulation i think you know this is all uh, uh, it came from icii what are your current uh, research initiatives whether with the new school or otherwise uh so right now uh, in fact it's a spin off from the fellowship uh, that i did with icii i'm writing a book on uh, inequality in asia so i'm looking at east asian countries southeast asian countries and south asian countries uh and this is a uh, you know a project where i'm looking at the relationship between uh, economic development and uh, how inequality changes you know with the process of economic development and uh, this is going to uh, you know at least the hope is that you know it will make an intervention uh, in the broader field of economics but it will also provide a lot of knowledge specific concrete knowledge about different asian countries uh, and uh, the countries that i am looking at also include china and india so so in that sense you know it's a spin off from the fellowship that i did here okay Lastly, uh, what suggestions or advice would you give to students or emerging scholars who are interested in pursuing research with India and China? Uh I think ICI is a great space, you know, where uh, you know, you can meet with uh, you know, very advanced uh, you know, scholars, uh, people who have spent years, you know, thinking about uh, issues concerning India and China in the economic, political and uh, cultural realms. and uh, i think you know the students or the emerging scholars uh, should both try to <coughs> locate themselves in their own disciplines but also you know contribute uh, and learn from uh, the significant collaborative space that india china institute has created over the last you know 7 8 years uh, and it's a unique opportunity there are very few models like this in the world okay thank you